My name is Mrs. Wall, and I'm the drama director here at Fremont Christian, and I cannot be more excited to have you all here tonight for this final showing. The cast has been working so hard to put this production together, and they are ready to use all of their energy to perform it one last time for you all. So we are so glad that you are here, and I won't keep them waiting any longer. I won't keep you waiting any longer. And we will get started. So here is High School Musical. Hey, Wildcats. Welcome back to East High. Please silence your cell phones and don't take pictures during this performance. As cell phones and recording devices are prohibited during the school day. Just ask for Anyways, can you please touch your back? This is Jack Scott signing off. Go Wildcats!
returns from our crucible of learning. Trepe and Ryan Evans, phones please. I'll see you in attention. We have a zero cell phone tolerance policy here, so we'll get to know each other in attention. Phone please and welcome to the time contest. Mr. Bolton, I see your phone is involved. Splendid, we'll see you in attention as well. This is not a possibility, Mr. Evans. Your Honor. Sir, because we have basketball practice at the school in Troy. Troy is... That'll be 30 minutes, Mr. Danforth. Count him! Hey, you know, that might be a little hard for Chad, because he probably can't count that high. Taylor McKessie, 35 minutes. But I've never had to touch it my whole life. Well, then, Happy New Year. This ain't my first time at the rodeo, kiddos. How the carnage continue? Ah, uh, saved by the bell. You may collect your phones after detention. Have a great day. Goodwill staff, a nauseous freshman just shared his pancakes all over the third floor corridor. We're talking dangerous news, folks, so please watch out for it. Sorry, Pete, this is just in. Please remember to sign up for the school musical, Julian Romeo, written by Fred Hot Composer Jane Kelsey Nielsen. This is Jack Scott over now. Remember, 
The chain is only as strong as the weakest link. I'm going to talk. It's up to you, I guess you know that one. Okay, man. Give me 10 minutes for whiff jokes. Let me see how awesome. Let's go. Wildcats on me, Wildcats on three. One, two, three. Wildcats! <laughs> You have two minutes to figure out how many kilograms of aluminum hydroxide produced. All right, class, give your best shot. So, seems like you knew Troy Bolton. No, not really. I just asked him for directions. Really? Because Troy doesn't usually interact with these students. Why not? Well, it's basically basketball 24-7 with him. Plus, he's kind of a bully, always picking on the smaller kids. <coughs> That's nice. And he hates math and chemistry. Don't get him started on chemistry. I don't think he's open books to Sally, Dick, and Jane. Says he doesn't get it. Typical jock, right? Cool. <laughs> and he's a knee eater with a 
slash room's problem. Ask anybody. Mr. Teddy? Yes, Camilla. I'm sorry, it's just... I mean, I think it should be 10 to the negative 18th power. That's all. 10 to the negative 18th power? That is quite impossible. Well, I stand corrected. Very impressive. And welcome aboard! Did you have the choice but to hear in juvenile hall? Something to do with cats and bonbons? Oh, no, no power here. <sighs> Whatever. Ryan, it's me! I thought Miss Jarvis took your phone away. Uh, hello, I always carry a spare. In case my agent calls. Hey, you're a genius. Please, it's just an equation. Look, our science to count on team was a big regional match on Friday. We've never won it before, but if you are a we might see a chance. Thanks, but I think I'll pass. I just want to get acclimated to the new school and all. Oh, well, you promise you'll think about it? Promise. Troy Bolton was looking at our auditions list. Again? He was hanging out with that Montez girl earlier, and we were both looking at it. Something's freaky about her. Did you Google her like I asked? Yeah, it's like she has an extra brain or something. So why she why is she interested in our musical? She's not interested in our musical. She's interested in Troy, Mark Boy. Look, I need you to plant these printouts in Taylor's locker ASAP, okay? No problem, boss. But why am I doing that? There's no harm in making certain that Gabriella feels accustomed to activities that are appropriate for her. You know. Who wants to keep her far away from Troy Bolton? Well, well, cats, it's time to kiss today goodbye and hug me towards the tension. So all you evil doers, ready to get your butts down to the theater or face the wrath of Darvis the Merciless. This is Jack Scott signing off. Wait, 
Maybe I'll get my friend. Just wait. So I hope. 
I'm here, Lily. No, actually, I'm here as your Well, yes, but I treat these auditions just as seriously as your dad treats his basketball games. I called for the Julia and Romeo auditions, and you didn't respond. I'm very sorry. We're out of time. We gotta look, Jack. Write that song that Raj made to sing? Yeah. And did that musical? Yeah. Wait, so why are you so good at Chopin? I mean, it's your musical. It is. Hello? Thank you. Yeah, isn't the writer of a musical like the Pioneer Basketball? Pioneer? <laughs> right. Um, the person who makes everyone else look good. That you, there's no chef. You're the baby king pussy. I am? Do you want to hear what Francois said?
This is Jack Scott with the late Breaking World Cat News Flash. Students have been spotted singing and dancing on top of tables in the school cafeteria. Clicks have got miles an unprecedented response to Troy Fulton's callback to the school musical. I mean, what's scary was even seeing Katie there with the string section of the school band. All the humanity, the humanity!
yourselves. Now! All right, Bolton. Cards on the table right now! Huh? Your pathetic male ego is bent and all out of shape just because I put your stars in attention, so now you're trying to get even with me? What are you talking about, Nova? Don't look dumb with me, Bolton! I'm not playing! Some very reliable sources told me about your plan to humiliate me in the drama club, and I'm telling you, that ain't gonna fly! Save your speeches for the stage! If you and your all-star start planning some practical joke in my chapel of the arts... Joy has been seen! Well, I guess you don't know your son as well as you think you do, but I want to allow Julia and Romeo to be made to a farce! <laughs> Julia and Romeo? See? I knew it! Very well, then. You leave me no choice. If Troy is actually serious about auditioning for the musical, he's going to have to prove it. I won't allow either one of you to make fools of the drama club. Hey, you don't need my help to do that. And Mr. I'm sorry and lying! Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were genuine, Troy! Wrong again, I guess. What was that all about? You want to tell me something, Bolton? Something about saying? No. <laughs> well, you know, it's uh... No, I don't know! That was the richest true ass up because you think you're plotting something! I was just hoping someone audition. That's it, there's nothing. You bet there's nothing! In case you forgot to! You have the biggest game in your life coming in two days! Can't you have to get for real, Bolton? Your team is depending on you! Well, I was, I was gonna say, and we're gonna have some free so... Since you'll live for practice, again, that's the least you can do.
Legends will change his memory from some brainiac chick or using for musicals.
does work, and why do I always have to do what you say? Uh, maybe it's because... Let me think. I know what I'm doing. Just listen to me. I'm not taking any chances. This role is mine. I was born to play it. Somebody in this room ought to chill out, sister. And it ain't me. We'll get those roles. We always do. I'm not just talking about my role in the play, Ryan. I'm talking about my role in, like, the school. I'm not a job. I'm not a brainiac, but you know what I am? I'm a star! That's my goal. And if you take that away from me, then who am I? Well, you could just be Hey, That's not so bad, is it? I don't brain dead. No one's gonna want to be my friend if I'm just Sharpay. On stage, I could be Juliet. I could be Annie Oakley. I could be anyone I dream of. But without that, I'm just double Sharpay. I mean, come on! They named me after a old dog. Sharpay, we've had the most ever since birth. Did we get them again? Great, we thought it would still be fabulous. Plus, it could have been worse. They could have named you after Hub or Labradoodle. Very funny. But what about Troy and that, that thing? Well, maybe Troy would like you more if you were just yourself for once. Ooh, excuse me, Dr. Phil, but what do you know? You're just a kid. I'm only eight minutes younger than you. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't know you were Hi, Troy. Are you coming to ask us which partners so we can audition together? The answer is yes! Ryan, you're fired! Okay. No. No, um, have you seen Jabella? I really need to touch her. What? Who? Forget it. Hey! Last time I saw her, she was in the theater about ten minutes ago. Thanks, man. No. You're all right. Oh, 
first few minutes, all friends? Yeah, we're gonna have to do that. We're gonna have to tell them that we're gonna call us after all. Well, let's move it already. We're pretty tailored. Let's go. 
So until we fix it or pay the electric bill, in an orderly fashion, make your way out of the gym and to the theater. Hurry! Run for you only have about like five minutes. What? You wanna see? It's not over. Who says it yet? Dude, it's the best! I know, man, I heard you hurry. Now we what's going on with the lights. Then we'll resume the match. Now, Kendall, what are you still doing here? What do you mean? You don't have time. I'm off to pick up the old school's electric man for about five minutes. Well, twice we can go on stage. You did all this? Just get me a coke after you get me. Come on, run! Sharpay and Carmen, wonderful job. Troy Bolton, Gabriella Montez. Troy? Gabriella? Yoo-hoo! <laughs> well, it seems you're right. See? Unfortunately, I've been practicing all week and they're really, really good. What you're always talking about, like about reaching for the scars. That's what they're doing. Please, just two more minutes. I'm so sorry, Kelsey. But just like the theater, our lives are defined by our choices. Troy and Gabriella have two years of chips for my audition. Congratulations, everyone! The cast list will be posted. Someone's here. Where were you? I called your names twice! Please, just this one. Those are girls, Miss Montez. Please give us a chance. A chance for what, Troy? A chance to make a joke or something that means the world to me in your classmates who audition? No, this is something that shows us that I came here because I want to give this my best shot. Please, we only have a few more minutes until the lights turn back on.
amazing. Hi. Thank you so much for coming to our closing night. On behalf of all of us, we thank you so much uh, for coming and seeing all the hard work that we put in. Uh, before we have, like, give our cast to you guys to take pictures and say hi, I just want to invite Mrs. Ellis and Mrs. Wool. <laughs> Yeah, that's it!